So what does this picture mean to you? Not much, right? So let's back up a little bit and get a better perspective, a little more information. But now you can maybe see that it's a bell. And now if you back up a little more, you see that it's a bell hanging on a doorknob. But that might not be all it means to either of us, right? Well, what does it mean to not the dog? For her, it means the right way to go and leave her bladder. That means she'd go outside and pee without getting in trouble. But she didn't just make that up. We had to come to an agreement. We had to agree on what that bell means. And we did that by talking about it, having a dialogue about it. So we made it up. So the conversation goes something like this. I like it when you pee outside. Not to say, if I can get outside when I need to pee, now we'll pee outside. And I say, in fact, if you go outside and pee, I'm not scold you. She's like, okay, man, man, I don't have thumb. So let's figure out a way to let you be nice about this. It's like, okay, well, if you ring the bell when you need to go out open the door, you need to go pee. Oh, okay, deal. So we basically made up the meaning for the bell. Otherwise, she can ring that thing all day and that door ain't gonna open. If this shared meaning of reality about this bell isn't reality, it's at least as important as reality to us. Now maybe that seems like a weird conversation, right? Did I simply train her, manipulate her? That is, I virtually told her what the bell means. Maybe, but it works both ways, right? What if you house sit with Nada while we're out? And I forget to tell you what the bell means. You think she's not gonna try to tell you? She's not gonna try to talk to you about how this bell means something to her? and that it would be very helpful if you agreed to a similar meaning for that bell. She's gonna ring that bell once, and she's gonna wait, and she's gonna ring it again, she'll wait a little bit, and she's gonna ring the hell of it. She starts whining and barking and ringing it hard until you either open the door or she's gonna pee on the floor. In other words, she's gonna keep talking until you two come to some agreement about what that bell means, or until she gives up. And, so what am I missing? What's not I'm missing? What assumptions are I right about this conversation and how we assign meaning to things and how almost everything that's important in our life is made up. And made up is not bad. In fact, it's liberating. But you can't make it up by yourself.